Thank you, Father. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. signs and wonders we worship you please accept our thanks in Jesus name this morning in a very very special way visit your children answer their prayers and let your name be glorified in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen well, let someone shout hallelujah. Please be seated. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Exodus 15, verse 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is wonderful Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 And wonderful is a combination of two words, wonder and fool. That means our God is full of wonders. The Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 6, verse 25 to 27, Daniel 6, 25 to 27, that he does wonders. And you know what? This month, God is going to do wonders for somebody. It can even turn you to a wonder. It can do a wonder for you so big that people will begin to wonder about you. I mean, Genesis 21, from verse 1 to 7, Genesis 21, from verse 1 to 7, Sarah said, Who would have believed it? Who would have thought it? That a 90 year old woman will still bring forth a child. This is the month of signs and wonders. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there's someone listening to me now. Your own wonder will come this month. Today should not be a day for preaching, except that there might be one or two of us who didn't come to the Holy Ghost service of 
last Friday. Because there we saw a woman who had been barren for 32 years coming forward to testify. That should be enough sign to anybody that your case is not too late. Because God is no respecter of persons. He is a wonder-working God. And what he has done for someone before, he will do it again. And he will do it for somebody here right now. All you need to do is ask. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, Call on me. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you have never known. What's he saying? All you need to do is just call on me. And I will show you signs and wonders. The only thing you need to do is make sure that there is no sin in your life that could prevent him from hearing you when you cry. Because Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2, Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2 made it clear. God is not deaf. God is not weak. His hands are not shortened. The only thing is that sin may prevent him from hearing you. And so we're going to pray a particular prayer today, which will be a little different from the one we have been praying. And it follows again from one of the testimonies we heard last Friday night. When one fellow said, each time I prayed, I would hear the devil whisper in my ear, say, eh, you did this and you did that. How can God hear you? Then he said he changed his prayer and began to say, God, just have mercy on me. The devil can't say anything against that. And the miracle came. The cry we will all cry to God today is, God, please have mercy. And he will have mercy on us. And he will give us our miracle. So before we pray, because the children of God are going to storm the throne of God this morning, this month of signs and wonders must not go past before God answers our prayers. But if there's anyone among us who is not yet a child of God, if you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, come now. Come very, very quickly because the rest of us, we want to pray and God is ready to answer us. So I'm going to count from one to four. If you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ and you want to do so, come very quickly now as I'm counting one. Four. One. 
Eh? Those of you who are on the way, you know, please hurry up. And the rest of us who are already here, let's cry to God, Lord, please save my soul. Forgive my sin. I'm surrendering my life to you, Lord. Please include me in your family. Let me become a child of God today. Let's talk to the Almighty God. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. That the one who saved our own souls, who saved their souls also, that God in his infinite mercy will hear them and have mercy on them and use his blood to wash away their sins. Pray for them for just one minute. And the rest of you too, who are in front, call on him, have mercy on me, save my soul. Forgive my sins, and I will serve you for the rest of my life. Call on him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father and my God, I want to thank you because you are here. Here to hear us, here to answer our prayers. As for these people who have come forward, I am praying, Lord God Almighty, please look down from heaven and forgive all their sins today. Let your blood wash away their sins save their souls, write their names in the book of life, so that any time they too call on you, you will answer them by fire. Do it for us, O Lord, and we will give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, those of you who have come forward, I rejoice with you. Because from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. So if you turn to your left, you will see someone there lifting up a placard. Please follow him quickly. He will take you to where some pastors are waiting. They will collect your names, your address, and your prayer requests. And I promise you, I'll be praying for you. God bless you. Well, let's, let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Let's pray. Let's pray for them. Praise God for them. Thank you, Father. And as usual, you will come forward to the altar. I will pray for you first. And then you will go ahead and talk to God yourself. And when you finish, and you are, you are prayed, and you are satisfied, on your way home, you drop your offering. And this is a month of signs and wonders. I am believing God for signs and wonders for each and every one of us this particular month. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. He's no respect of persons. If you can answer someone who has been trusting for 32 years, ah, my case is simpler. He will solve my problems too. Very, very soon. The world will hear my own testimony too and they will help me glorify God. That's the way it's going to be. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up if you know you are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to thank you. Because the Bible tells me you are rich in mercy. All I'm asking for today for all of us. Father, be merciful unto us. 
whatever we could have done in the past that could be responsible for our fruitless efforts forgive in Jesus name anything that will not allow you to perform wonders in our lives today forgive in Jesus name be merciful unto us father be merciful unto us God the Son be merciful unto us God the Holy Spirit be merciful unto us blessed Trinity be merciful unto us Alpha be merciful unto us Omega be merciful unto us Ancient of this be merciful unto us the one who can do the impossible be merciful unto us wonder walking God be merciful unto us oh you are the all-sufficient God you are no respecter of persons if you have done it for someone you can do it again oh Lord please be merciful unto us Make us signs. Make us wonders. Before the end of this month, Father, surprise us. Take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now go to God or yourself on your own and say, Lord, be merciful unto me. I'm just asking for mercy. Mercy, oh Lord. You go ahead, talk to him. Mercy, oh Lord. Just be merciful.